Ah, it's good to be back. I just finished editing the duo's countdown last night, and I knew I was going to play solo for my next video, so I immediately just hopped on the next morning, and here I am, ready to play solo. I have a really cool idea for this video, but before I say anything, first just want to say thank you guys for all the love on the videos. I'm super close to 90k subs, and then right after that is 100k, which is unbelievable. I honestly never would have thought that Rust console could get me 100,000 subscribers. I mean, I'm not there yet, but it should happen, I hope. So yeah, just thank you guys for all the support. As you read by the title, I'm going undercover as a solo. And my idea is that I'm going to build a role player base and then try to get super loaded and see how long I could survive before I get raided. I might have BPs on here, I don't even know. I have Tommy, Pistol Bullet, and Stim. Let's go, that's like all I really need. Can't ask for much more than that. I was looking at the map a second ago, and I think I want to build somewhere like in the snow below train yard. Build like a nice, like cozy roleplay base down there, like right around here maybe. And that way I could be close to train, launch, and then I could run over here for a boat to rig. Oh shoot. Slow grade. Let's go, there's no TC. Ooh. Alright. Might as well just get a base down. I see a guy over there. It's probably his base too. Wood base right there. Another base down there in the trees. Almost didn't see that one. Uh, I'm pretty close to satellite now. I can't go much this way. Base in the water down there. I think this wood base won't be a threat, so I'm just gonna build like right over here. I'm just gonna put a one by two down. Oh, you know it's right here. Sheesh. I did this because I just wanted like a little loot room. Once the base was down, I heard an explosion coming from the sponsor of this video. War Thunder is a free-to-play, cross-platform, MMO, military game dedicated to aviation, armored vehicles, and naval craft. With over 1,500 unique vehicles to drive, sail, and pilot, you can experience the excitement of combined armed combat and the thrill of epic battles on land, in the air, and at sea. You can choose from arcade, realistic, or simulator modes to customize your combat experience. Dive into dynamic, large-scale battles with up to 64 players, as well as tackle naval warfare, pilot realistic planes and helicopters, helicopters and customize your vehicles to your liking. The vehicle collection spans over a hundred years of development, from the 1920s to the present day, giving players the opportunity to command some of history's most iconic vehicles. Flying around in the jets is where I spend most of my time, and the best part is that it's completely free to play on PC, Xbox Series S, and X, PlayStation 5, or the previous console generations. There's a large free bonus pack if you register using my link below, including multiple premium vehicles, premium accounts, boosters, and much more. Thank you War Thunder for sponsoring the video. There were a ton of nodes spawning in my area, so I quickly farmed what I could to get my furnaces running. Alright, I just turned day. I need wood pretty bad, so I'm gonna go down in this area. Definitely gonna be trees over here, and then... Let's see if there's a green card at Oxum's. If there is, I could just get the blue at Satellite find a hazzy and launch or somewhere else and then hit train and by then i should probably have a t2 workbench ready green card thank you Ooh. recycle the camera for now and get more Two hundred and five scrap from a little uh, road run right here is pretty crazy. It's been like less than ten minutes, so. Then I made the mistake of going to sewer instead of satellite dish. Make two sheet metal doors real quick, and then I'm good to go. Oh 
Oh, he had a Tommy? I didn't even know that. Alright, well, it didn't sound like he looted my body, so I'm just gonna run back there. Oh, nice, someone took Brad. Oh, this guy's still here. Come on, bro. Don't do me like that, bro. figure there'd be no one at sewer and of course there's multiple people there so i guess i gotta um just get another green card and try satellite this time people were there and i died but when i went back to see if they took my loot i jumped off the ledge to respawn at my base and saw a military crate under the parkour silo so as i was waiting for a green card to respawn i figured i might as well go back and see what i could find Ooh. A huge pull and a db oh my god it's a good thing i came back here bro going to depot this right now these metal window bars are going to be good for my base too so i don't want to use the wood ones but i do want to have windows or i could use a reinforced glass windows let's go all right so my plan is to research a db because i can make more and then go out with a DB. I already have Tommy Research, so all I have to do is repair it. But I'm not going to bring it out until I have a level 2 workbench. No way, he's like full kit. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> sure, he was not full kit, but... Take a little bit of loot. It was just a normal player farming on the road, but I soon find out that this player had a lot more up his sleeve. Soon after this, I was farming trees on the coast when I found an airdrop. Is that a drop? No shot. Look where it is. There's no way. Oh my god, a C4 is big. And a, and a spaz. That is huge. There's no way there's one out here. Then the green card respawned, and right on time, I also found a Hazzy on the road. Mm-hmm, there's my Hazzy. So I hit Satellite Dish Puzzle for the blue card. And then the Train Hard Puzzle. A lot of milk crates. Pump. Even though it's one shot, that's pretty good. Eh, not the worst. Kind of hoping for another SMG body. Now that I got a blue card, I can hit it like three more times, so I'm chilling. Ooh, I didn't even know there was a milk crate spawn right there. And I get an SMG body, it's big. I put the level 2 workbench down and repaired the Tommy I found. Then I went to the Chinook Crater Airfield. And the Crate Slay Airfield, I might as well go. See if I can kill any stragglers. As a solo, it is nice to start like in the morning when it's lower pop. And I did see people, but I honestly just avoided everyone. And I'm not built in like a super populated spot, but I'm still really close to everything I need. I've been on the server for like an hour and a half and I'm already roaming with the Tommy. Dang, that base is loaded in. They got a huge compound. Ah, oh, the crate's gone. Dang it. Let's see if I can find anyone, though.
Get me out of here right now. Whoo! Oh man, that was close. I got a bolty too, that is big. I might go to Smoil now, because now I have a bolty. I got one, two, three, three Tommies, a Sar. What a crazy start, let's go. Still gotta make it home now. Holy. Made it home with some juice. My cargo's coming out? I'll try to go for that instead. I'm gonna go... Go with this more broken Tommy, and I'm not gonna bring the hollow. This is risky, but it might pay off big time. A boat. Let's go. This is big. just turned like crazy but if I did get on I was probably dead Well behind the wall how'd he just kill me i did choke hella shots but like as soon as i opened the door he went behind the pole and yeah i don't know i was hoping to at least have like a chance to reload but i just get smoked well behind the wall i had a feeling it was gonna be like one of the, one of the guys from these bases which that's probably what it is or maybe he lives somewhere but i just had a feeling it was gonna be like a big recycle run with a, with a road sign guy and it actually was I should have just went all the way around and I probably would have killed him. Let's see if he's still here. I doubt it though. He probably depoted. Oh, he sees me and he's chasing me. Dead. I don't need his boy peeking me right now. I don't need his boy peeking me on one shot. Let's go. That was the same kid that uh, killed me recycling. I think I'm just gonna run train yard again real quick. That guy just saw me come in here. I have a small amount of time to loot this and then get up top. Then the other guy ditched, but uh, <laughs> I really had a silencer on him, on his Tommy, and he had a metal chest plate, just realized that. You know, these tall trees behind launch actually look super sick. Usually you don't see uh, launch with trees like this, or sometimes you'll see him like over there, the dunes. I have seen him like this before, but that just looks mad cool to me. Jeez, the trees make it super laggy over here though. How are these guys like stalking around my base? I 
Oh my god. There's actually no way. No. I don't want him to know where I live. It's cuts bit. But there's a lot of loot right there. this area became such a hot zone out of nowhere. Alright, well they didn't touch anything at least. I died while building the base, but I only had a little wood on me. Then a fight broke out and Cutsbit was one of the players. Now he knew where I lived, so if I take any loot from him, I'm an easy raid. This gave me some urgency to start farming for my new base. I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. He doubled me and I still didn't die. I was questioning about putting his roadside helmet on too. Thank god I did. Grab a few more nodes and then depot this. Oh yeah. Need all this stone right here. Oh my god. He did an AK? Are you kidding me? What is this? He did an AK? No shot. No shot. Oh, I'm getting raided. I'm gonna go right back, but they're probably gonna be there. And no, I can't hold it all. There's actually no way he's full inventory of farm and he lives right up there on that hill. And I'm pretty sure they saw exactly where I live. They they were like fighting right outside the base. Oh my god, it's not good. He's running back up the hill. I think he grabbed it already. There's still a lot more stuff, but I mean, I got a lot of silver. A lot more than I can do anything with. Yeah, he took the rest. Please tell me that actually killed him. He did. Random has the MP5. Smoking kids right now. Drop right there. I'll go for that next. I'm just gonna stash this MP5. If I get another C4 that's big, I can raid something. Got in my left coming over. This naked right here got it. He just died too. I don't know how or why. Oh wait, he didn't get it? Alright, well I don't know who grabbed it. Maybe they ran back into his base. It might be him right there actually. Same uh, hazzy guy from before. Scared the shit out of me. Oh no, that's the dude. Was he in that bush? Oh man, that's the guy. Ah, <sighs> that's not good. Okay. What do I do? I need stone, which I don't have. Alright, it's risky, but I think I bring the guns over here. I think I bring my best stuff over here right now. All 
Alright, I think I'm good for now. I'm go back to farming. And uh, hopefully I get enough stone to just at least enclose this thing. Make it a couple doors worth raiding. Here we go. I'm on timer. Damn, well I almost came out with a big bag, but at least I just saved my loot. Get this thing? I didn't get any of that. Didn't get anything in here. Save my loot, but I'll probably come back. Might as well move more stuff over. Scrap the high qual. It like always happens. You kill someone and they know where you live, especially if it's a lot of loot, and they always go ahead and do it. I was kind of nervous, to be honest with you. Did not think I was going to be able to kill those first two guys with only a spaz. It's actually wild. I was expecting this area to be safe for a solo, but from looking back at this footage, it seemed like it was a hot zone for farmers because a lot of nodes were spawning in the area. I had a good feeling these guys didn't care I only had a roleplay base and they wanted to raid me no matter what. So my plan of being undercover was already out of the bag. Even in the beginning of the video, I was saying I wonder how fast I can get raided. And before I could even get the roleplay base down, I got raided and there was no way they were done. So I transferred the rest of my loot to the new base and kept farming as much as I could. Yep, he's raiding my base. Which one is he raiding though, is the question. Well, good thing I moved everything. It was a good thing I moved all my loot, but I'm curious as to why he raided me on the spot. This guy wasn't with the last people that tried raiding me. I went back to upgrading my base when I heard him coming back. No shot, he's not dead. He just leaves again with all my wood and he's probably gonna come back and raid me. Like, come on, bro. He came back with a launcher. Of course he did. He's still gonna raid me anyway? That's crazy. This guy does not care. I 
don't have any stims. That's the, that's the only issue here. everything well I guess it did not last long for being in a role play solo base it actually lasted shorter than it would if I actually built a real base I don't think I'm gonna give up yet I mean I kind of want to I need revenge on these guys low key I don't know how I'm going to get revenge, but definitely going to need some revenge. One thing I love more than anything in Rust is getting revenge. It gives me more of a reason to play how the game is intended. Progress to a bunch of loot and raid your enemies. So even though I was raided, I couldn't wait to restart and see them again. To skip ahead some time, I took over my roleplay base to store my loot and then went to find a new build spot. This is when I confirmed some important information. Is this not called in? It's like right here. Uh, there's probably gonna be people here. I don't really want to lose these comps. See if I can depot before it drops. After confirming Cutspit's base, I started hitting barrels on the road again and came across even more info. Wow. Devin Zonuts, okay. Now I know where he lives too. And I guess they don't live up there, they live in that compound. Or they're allied, one of the two. Either way, he really just roof camped me like that. That's crazy. This was good because that probably meant they were living with only a few people. So raiding one of them could actually be possible. The only issue now was that it was getting late and I just died of my enemy roof camping. So I stashed the only bit of loot that I had and got off to start fresh in the morning. I got on the next day to my roleplay base being raided again by Cutspit. He really didn't want me in the area, but I had to build somewhat close in order to get my revenge. So I got the idea to change my name from The Guy to PhD Goober. That way I can go back to being undercover and progress without anyone having it out to raid me. So to start, I found a new build spot against another rock. It was on the left side of train yard, but still close to my enemies. It took some time to figure out what I was going for because I was free building the base, but I used the rock to my advantage by creating a secret vault. You'll see it more when I get closer to finishing the base, but now that I had the starter down, I once again hit satellite and train yard to craft a level 2 workbench. But before I put down the level 2, I saw a drop nearby. Alright, before I put down the level 2, I'm gonna go after this drop right here. I'm only gonna cross E, so not a big deal if I die. But now that I just hit train yard, I have a red card and I found three SMG bodies. So I can make three Tommies if I want to. And I have that MP5 stashed. I need to find that stash though. So I was looking for it earlier and I couldn't find it. So I gotta go back in the video. I'm running through some crazy trees right now. Where's this drop? Oh, there it is. out in a flash that is actually huge i did not see that jackhammer i need that so bad yeah that's a big pull custom tommy jackhammer exactly what i needed yes sir 
After scooping that much needed airdrop, I ran over to a decaying base that had a level 3 workbench and crafted my level 2 workbench. Then I heard Tommy shots outside. Well, I'm hearing some Tommy shots. I haven't fought in a while, so might as well go check it out. Oh, nice. Farming and everything. Now I got a second jackhammer? That's big. After depoting, I needed low grade for more stims, so I went to smelt the crude oil at train yard when I heard more fighting. Let's go. I was just about to smell some crude oil at train yard too, but then I heard the Tommy shots go off. I just hit him with my whole clip. He's even more- he's so loaded. What? What? Not bad loot at all. 320 scrap? We up baby, we up. We up. So close to being not up, but we're still up. So close to not being anywhere. But we're here. And we're back in the base, baby.
I have no clue how I just won that, but that was actually crazy. It wasn't that crazy, but that bolty on the... It was just a little intense with the bolty on the roof. And I definitely should have died to that first Hazzy. I don't know why he was so, like, worried about pushing me. Two MP5s, an LR, and a full road sign kit. After spending some time organizing my loot and expanding the base, I went to go hit trees for more wood and died to some close neighbors. Alright, so I'm just now finding out there's a four man with road sign and Hazzy right here. And I live right on the other side of this rock. Down here. I mean, they have no reason to raid me right now, so I think I'm chilling. Oh my god, they are loaded. They are loaded, what the fuck? That was just the one box I opened, too. Well, I don't know what they keep shooting at, but like... I guess it's grubs? Ain't no way. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was some good ass loot. I'm gonna go back with a pop. <laughs> There's actually no way I'm getting all this loot. It's just, it's too easy. Like, what's going on right now? Alright, I didn't make a. In the exit to the roof just because I feel like people are gonna want to raid through that way so I can't get on the roof which I think is fine I mean I don't really need to get on the roof it would be nice but I can't have like a shooting floor anyway at least the core design is good now I just kind of need to honeycomb it off but basically I'll start from the front there's a lot of trees in the way so it's like hard to tell what's going on but I kind of like it that way so this is the front door right here and it's just a long hallway of doors and there's just gonna be like a little loot storage right there and you go up here and this is gonna be another little compartment i wish i didn't finish building yet but it's part of the honeycomb i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna do something and then right here repair bench i got my jump rock over here is a tc and then over here is my big loot room. I'm gonna start spreading out my loot soon. And I'm also gonna set up the bunker. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. Just grab a locker real quick. Alright, so then you jump up here. And hopefully I can have turrets throughout this whole thing, like under jump ups. So you go up here. Jump up again. This can all be boxes of loot or auto turrets, wherever. Come up here one more time. More spots for turrets or boxes. And then you wrap around here, and here's a bunker. And when you go down, I don't know if I'm gonna keep like a stair here or a ladder. I don't think a ladder hatch is gonna work, unfortunately. It might though. I might be able to put it like uh, one frame lower right here. Basically you come down here and there's a ton of space for a secret, secret vault. <laughs> it's actually pretty tough. Um, and I have these walls soft-sided, so this wall right here, this is the TC right here, and then this wall. This is the loot room right here, the big loot room. So it's pretty hidden. The only way they could really get it is if they blew through this side. So I want to make sure this side is pretty honeycombed. And I think I should move some loot down here just in case anything happens. This space is honestly a pretty, not an easy raid, so I think I'm good for now. And then to make it secret, I put the... Um, the locker down right here like that and yeah there's no way they're gonna see it 
Hey, I'm gonna text you to garage door right now because I honestly need them pretty bad. Once everything died down, I went to the Shinnokreda airfield again. I'm not gonna lie, I feel really safe with these G-doors now. Alright, so two hazies go in red tower right there. Really just have to wait it out. No way he killed me that fast. Nobody picked up the crate? Are you joking? <laughs> A rocket, explo brick, and armor door? I might be able to get my revenge on cuts a bit quicker than I thought. Having to tech treat a rocket is such like a big thing, but I just can't believe I just found one. Like that's insane. Oh my god, a rocket. <laughs> I'm a researcher right now. This just saved a ton of scrap and time because now I don't have to use the tech tree anymore. I still needed a lot of other BPs like Explo Brick and Auto Turret. So I decided to hit the top of launch and AFK for a few crate spawns. I spent most of this day doing the boring stuff like farming and monument running to make sure my base was strong enough to not get raided again. I also didn't want to make new enemies while my base was still little. Even though I did get into a few PvP fights, I think I was safe for the night. So I transferred pretty much all my loot to the Seeker Vault and before I got off, I went to check out my enemies' bases to see how they were doing. Hearing AK and MP5 shots at Oxum's gas station. Okay, buddy. Dylan's base was currently getting raided as I went to check on it. There were three full kits, so I didn't even bother going over with a gun because I already moved all my loot to the vault. But Cutspit's base was still standing and even had another layer of honeycomb on it. I knew it was only a matter of time before someone raided him too. So my plan was to wake up early and get to farming for my revenge. 14 hours on upkeep, that's probably good for the night. I don't have any more stone anyway. All right, I'm locking up for the night. 3.11 a.m. I think it's pretty safe to get off. Got some locker kits here. Two road signs and a hazzy. And then I got another little hazzy kit here. Now before I close this for the night, GP away. Okay, close that up. Alright, so my theory is that I put a bunch of stuff in here that people won't want to take. And by doing this, they should never, like, pick up the locker to see the door. Because, like, in order to pick up the locker, they have to take all this crap out of it. Okay, I think I'm good for the night. The morning was very quiet during my farm runs. Even Cutspit was running around naked. Of course it's cut spit. Then things changed quickly when a 2x2 started getting raided right outside my base.
He didn't loot me, oh my god, he didn't loot me. I gotta go back immediately. Oh, someone else is throwing nades. Oh my god. There's so much loot on the floor. More AK guys coming in. As you do better be on their team because if he's fighting me instead, that's actually bull. I just died to a bow. Okay, well I still pulled an AK, a Tommy, two rockets, uh, two more Tommies. Oh, and HVs too, that's kind of big. I mean, I thought things would die down after this raid, but this was only the beginning of my area becoming a complete hot zone. This base is getting smoked now. All right, I mean, I guess it's gonna be another showdown. There's gonna be counters for sure. When things like this happen right outside your base, the only thing you could do is try to grub until an opportunity appears where it's worth it to take out a gun. I just killed a full kit right there. Oh my god. Oh, why did I just try to loot that? Why did I just try to loot that? I'm dumb. Right outside of my front doorstep, bro. Why can't I ever just get back in the base? I'm on timer, bro. <sighs> I can never just get in with some loot. Oh my god. I need more bags out here, too. I already I got three. I thought that was enough. Yep, here they come up to my loot. Oh 
my god, look at them all. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just got all those cubs. Let's go. <laughs> all of them were like in a line running into their base and that one dude was just straggling off. Dude, no way. 221 high qual plus the 165. Two Tommies and an M39. Oh my god. There is more guns on his body too. Let's see if I can try to grab him. I think they know I took it. And they're like a six man. I mean, hopefully they don't, they don't care enough though. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, four of them probably have full inventories of loot. And then... All they lost was the comps to a solo, maybe they just don't care. That's what I hope at least. More loot. I think the counters are coming back. Bro, I just missed so many shots and he still just kept running. You know, it could be the reindeer antlers. I've had these things on the whole time. Doing me pretty good right now. I'm gonna have to keep my furnaces running because I'm gonna need this metal. Need more wood again, bro. Holy shit. I have a lot of frags. I'm not gonna upgrade yet though. I want it to die down. Yeah, this dude's like full on scoping out my base. I'm definitely getting hit. <laughs> There's no way. This dude's full on checking it out. Is this the same kid? It's a different kid. Why do I got kids checking out my base, bro? I had a few people checking out my base, so I researched HV Rocket and Tech Tree to Auto Turret. Then I moved all those comps I grubbed to the vault and upgraded more of my base. Once I felt secure, I finally went out and bought that level 3 workbench for 800 gunpowder to save me even more scrap. Now I felt safe enough to leave my base, so I decided to run small rig. Oh, and Heavy just got called in as I'm running over there. I definitely have to shark it. Just gotta be smart. Did they fix it? That shit is mad annoying. Please tell me it's just bugged. They fixed it? That is really annoying. Who would even want to wear these things now? Okay, all I have to do is wait. As soon as they get on the boat, they just get smoked. I have no clue how many people were here, that's kind of why I was camping, but I think it was only two. 
and they're fucking loaded. Flipper, shop to combat knife. I'm praying there's only two, bro. If there's another one camping and I die looting this body, I'm gonna be kind of sick. Out of here. I haven't lived like this far off the coast in a long time. After that successful counter, I went to check out Cutspit's base because now it's been five to six hours since I've seen him online. See, he put up outer TCs. Oh, <gasps> the walls. No, no, he got smoked. Everything gets raided in like a few days. Like if I didn't like rebuild, I would have been gone. Like if I was in anything smaller, when I grubbed those comps, I would have been gone 100%. I still might get raided and I kind of hope I do because I'll be ready. That's why people won't do it anymore because they know I'm ready. Unfortunately, Cutspit was raided and it turned out he was also raided last night. When I saw him as a naked, that was him waking up to his base raided. And right after I killed him, he got off the server. It's always hard to get revenge. But at least I came out on top in our final encounter. Now the only issue was, I needed a new raid target. But it didn't take me long to find one. Server pop was dying down because it was getting late. So I figured it would be a good time to take Bradley. Right, I'm not going to take Brad full kit. But going roadside AK and M39. Alright, time to lock in. Oh my god, that was juiced. Another L9? Oh boy. He was just waiting for me. Why didn't I should have just left the other way? My game crashes. Is that just telling me to get off? Let's go see where this dude lives, man. Yeah, they're already upgrading. This is definitely them. No way, I just choked that. I didn't even see this guy before I died, and according to his name, he's cheating, so I'm not surprised. I sold terribly, but I found out where he lived, and he was also solo because he had key locks on his doors. So, I figured why not take the boom I have and give him an online raid. Hopefully it's not sheet metal by now, but I just made two more rockets, and that's really all I could do. I'm gonna just go see over, I'm gonna just go run over there and see. Kind of a bold move, but He's solo, so might as well like, give him a little online. Okay, he didn't upgrade the wall I want to go through. The only issue I'm having now is that it's going to be like almost impossible to rock it and watch the roof. So I definitely have to kill him first. It's a ladder. Um, okay. I don't have enough for that. Oh, if I do, I can only go through one square. Boxes are empty. Pulling out of Tommy.
go. GG, brother. Online's an online. Look at that farm. Clear off. Nice guns. Yeah, it's just a nice farm right there. My AK back. I caught him at a good time and took over the base with no problems. And once I transferred all the loot to my vault, I once again got off for the night. I really thought I would get offline raided, but I woke up to my base fully intact. So I went out for my usual morning farm run when Brad got taken. I was just about to go on a morning farm run, but someone took Brad. So I'm going to stash my jackhammer real quick and then uh, see what I can do. It's three full kits. <laughs> He's gotta be dead. I just swear I just heard an AK, and this dude is MP5. Oh, there he is. Fuck. Let's go baby! Fire back counter. I gotta be quiet though. Turn off all the furnaces. You're gonna come look for my base? Alright, gotta be quiet. I shouldn't open the garage doors I guess. I don't know. If, I don't think they saw me go inside. They must have just heard the garage doors open. Said we know where you live now. <laughs> it's fine. You can come. I'll be waiting. Next, I put up gatehouses and a compound so I can cook my farm way faster in big furnaces. People could jump in my compound from going on top of the rock, but if they fall in, they immediately die to turrets. While my big furnaces were running, I wanted to do another raid, so I went out scouting for potential targets. Alright, so let me fill you in on this clip. I was scouting for bases to raid, as I mentioned, but I saw these two players going into this base. And after thinking about it for a little, I had a feeling I recognized the name BO3 Problems. Then I went back in my footage and found out he was one of the players that raided me at the very beginning, with Cutsbit. Now I immediately assumed they had raided this base, because I've seen it before and it had a gate which was gone now. And they also used Twig to get to the roof. So I went scouting for their base and traced their steps back to where I saw them coming from up the mountain coast. And right down the mountain from where they came from was a pretty big base that I most likely had no chance of raiding as a solo. This made me pretty bummed out because I really thought I had a chance at getting revenge after all. But all of a sudden, 30 minutes later, I saw players setting up a new base not too far from this base. What is your deal with me? Like, what, what, what are you trying to accomplish here? What do you want to accomplish? What is your goal? Well, I didn't know it was you guys. It just so happened to be you guys. You saw someone on top of their base. I tried to kill him. 
I mean, you just kind of glitching our base and everything, man. I, mean, I know. I, we'll have to know. I, mean, I was trying to go into your base before, but it just so happened to be you guys over here, too. Oh my god. Goober. Oh Yo, my god, it's him. Mr. Goober. Mr. It's Goober. Goober. Could, could, we, could we possibly come to an agreement? Mr. Mr. No, Mr. Goober. The, the peaceful <gasps> negotiations of the job. We make some loan, maybe? Alright, he's coming back. PhD Goober's coming back. Oh, he's not. I swear to I hear someone outside the water. That's not me. It's not me. PhD Goober is a fucking not. It's not me. Me clown. PhD Goober, what is your angle? PhD Goober, What is your angle, sir? What is your angle? What's your angle? Stand right here, crouch. My angle? Yes, yes, yes. You keep coming back to us and trying to glitch inside our base. What's your angle, sir? What are you, what are you oh. trying to accomplish? What, what oh, I, I thought you were raiding that base. No, no, no. We're just bro, we, bro, we, what the, what dude? dude? You see us here with a building plan and everything, though. We, we made I remember seeing there. a gate on that compound, and it was gone. So, And then I saw the ladders and the twigs, so I thought it was, I thought you were raiding it. Uh, uh, yeah, we did I saw a compound, no, we, we took it over. And now we're building a new base, because that base is shit. Yeah, it is kind of shit for a big group like you guys. It is really dog, dude. It's like the most pain thing to ever. Whoever built the base is a little what, bitch. Do you, do you want it? Do you want it? We'll give I'll you take it. Home you want I don't know if you have a home. We, we haven't seen you anywhere. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just saying. No, we, we I have a small home. one. Give oh. away my base. Oh. You gotta go. You gotta take this and go, bro. Don't tell anyone. You gotta go, bro. You okay, I'm gone. Gives him any open They're coming back on mass. You gotta go, bro. Anyways, <laughs> it, it was nice to finally meet your acquaintance. I'm gonna I get off the Alright, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave you guys party. I don't want to stay around. Thanks for the MP5, bro. Peace. Give that was supposed to be our secret. That was supposed to be our secret. They're all falling into my plan. I had to rat him out just to start it off. He did give me an MP5, but I know that was only to get me to leave them alone. My intentions to get revenge were still in full effect. And the best part is, that they just gave me the exact information I needed. That big base I saw was never their base. What must have happened was that they got raided the same night Cuspit and Dilla Donuts did. But instead of quitting, they decided to rebuild and took over this raided base to snowball out of. And now they're building a new base in the water. But BO3 Problem said he's already getting off. So I knew there was no way this new base could get much bigger before it got late. I wanted to have enough boom for both bases just to be safe, so I spent a few hours smelting and crafting whatever boom I could make, and then it was officially time to get revenge. I don't know if they moved all the loot over here or not, but I just spawned over here naked and there's two turrets in there, and it's only a 4 rocket raid, so I have a lot of HVs just in case, like I just made 10, I don't think I'm going to need that many. Okay, so the turrets are like on this. I don't know if there's one or two, but it sounds like two. TC's locked. Sealed. You can have a TC real fast. Looks nothing crazy, but it's okay. You see what's behind the armor door. Alright, the loot wasn't too bad at all for four rockets. I'm definitely going to hit their other base though too, so I doubt this is all their loot.
Ooh, that sulfur is nice. Oh, that farm is nice. Hey man, where'd they move to? Alright, this is kind of scuffed because I thought I was going to get TC, but I didn't, so I couldn't seal the base. Luckily, they had like a bunch of wood and stone to make a raid base. The only problem is that I had no boxes, and I had no way of getting back in the base because I ran out of wood building the raid base. And I had to destroy the ladder to get up there so the nakeds wouldn't get up and take all the loot. I don't know if they have more loot. I'm curious to know because all those boxes were full. See, look, the nakeds are here, bro. If they actually get a ladder put down. I'm stressing, bro. I'm, I'm solo. <laughs> You're making me nervous. I'm not going to lie. Don't come up here yet, please. Yo yo. Hey, join. Hello. So, what uh, were you you were you allied with Cutsbit and the dudes who were in there before, or no? No, I was right from the very beginning. Uh, I killed Bo3 problems with like three rows of sulfur, and then they immediately had it out for me and wanted to raid me the whole time. Use those four rockets for that for the base. It might be loaded. I don't know. That's what I, I was asking, saying if you needed, because like. I got two rockets from Heli down at the uh, lighthouse. Mm hmm. Because I ran I through mean, naked and, and grabbed a box. What? Is it just the TC lift or is it the TC and the door? I think it's a roller door. It's, you just gotta go through the floor pretty much and you'll get it all. Like you splash the floor and it'll all open up. Yeah, because. Alright, well, I mean, I'll give, I'll, give you, I'll give you the four rockets back if you, if you don't. Wanna like if you're scared to lose I'm, it. I'm literally on my way over with the full rockets right now. <laughs> okay. Somebody's gone up to the main. Oh, it's you. Alright, here. I play I play solo from the time to time. Oh. <laughs> that play through. Yep. Oh there you go. There you go. Uh Luke. it's not looking good, my dude. It's not looking good. Uh, uh, no, there's a couple of guns there. Oh, there's a full metal kit there. Yeah, there one full metal kit. Top row. Yeah, top row. Oh, landmine. I know where I can put that. You throw it down to me, I'll break. Oh, fuck. I just realized I probably fucked myself. Oh, the here. comps are kind of nice. Um. Alright, well. I don't even feel like I'm taking these, of... transferring these comms back, so you could take them. Yeah, Alright, well you guys could take any no, of no, this. No, no. I was super scared of these nakeds, but it turned out they were actually friendly, and even helped me finish getting revenge. With my revenge raids complete, I was pretty satisfied with the wipe. I was expecting a message from BO3 Problems, but I never got one, so I hope he sees the video and knows that I was also the guy. For the rest of this wipe, I kept upkeeping my base, and nobody came to raid me, so I never got to see if my secret vault would have worked or not. But I do plan to make another one in the future. There is a large free bonus pack for loads of bonuses for all new players that use it. So now is the perfect time to get into War Thunder. I hope you guys enjoyed another solo adventure. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.